Brian. Well, there is new hope for hearing loss today. Yeah, and health anchor Liz Bonus joins us now with new research for the National Institutes of Health. Hey, Liz. Hey, guys. Good afternoon once again. This new research involves a novel drug therapy. It appears to partially restore hearing, at least in early mouse models. Let's take a look, a uh, closer look at these images. I have them right in front of me now. You can see that researchers with the National Institutes of Health say that this drug therapy is the first to preserve hearing from what they call an inherited form of human deafness. And these are pictures that appear to show what happens on a molecular level as partial hearing is restored. Lower frequencies would actually come back and some sensory hair cells have even been saved and that helps the hearing as well. The hope is to use a similar approach for other inherited forms of progressive hear hearing loss. Now in the meantime I spoke with audiologist Dr. Mike Hill about what to do to preserve your own hearing. Just think about our environment. Um, we're around noise all the time, automobiles, radios, TV shows. It's amazing, like in children between 12 and 17, 14 percent have significant hearing loss already and just uh, they listen to their players. So turn it to the left, keep it lower, don't blast it. If you're around noise, make sure you wear hearing protection. So mm. what's interesting is he said if someone goes to talk to you, you know, you're walking along, and I do this, I walk, I've really lowered the volume because he said if you have to turn it down or pull it out to hear them, it's too loud. Oh, that's okay. me all the time. Yes, yeah. yes. Nice. It's, it's, and, you know, I always wondered, like, is it just my hour at the gym? Is that enough? But we never used to have things no. inside mm -hmm. our ears. Yeah. And sometimes now people have those three or four hours a day, you know, the thing where you talk on your phone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like it's sitting right, right inside well, your ear. Well, we have these little things. Yes, we do. It, I feel it hasn't been so bad lately, but over the years, you know, they'd hit the wrong button or screen and you'd have a piercing sound mm -hmm. and I think that's affected and my hearing it will over ring, the years. When, when someone does that it will ring for hours. Yes. yes. And, I mean you do that jumping out of your seat that that does lasting damage. Yes. And everybody has these earbuds today so it's yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah and you know he is worried he said when we're seeing hearing loss at 14 ages 14 wow. we're in trouble. That's we could crazy have a whole different generation. That. Yeah that's mm -hmm. why we're doing new